Peter Evans, who has written a, a history, he's studying the history of assemblies and how the assemblies have contributed to the struggle for democracy. So, he's Peter, thank you very much. Thank you for having me, and thank you to the organisers for inviting me to speak today. Um, as Corinna just said, I was asked by the Assemblies for Democracy to look into the history of popular movements in Britain, particularly relating to the extension of the suffrage, the vote in this country. Um, what a sorry picture we've painted so far of British democracy. Um, but one thing that I've noticed from looking at this history is it's not the first time that British people have been in this situation. In fact, I would argue that it's part of a cyclical process, which I will be elaborating on in my session, um, whereby the people have to mobilise again and again to retake the state and repurpose it to their own um, interests, basically because elite groups do the same. They, they, they take the state over and repurpose it to their own interests. I mean, can we think of any examples recently of the state embarking on wars that nobody wants, making cuts to services that people want, that they don't want to pay for, cutting taxes, it's all very similar. And there's a recurring pattern here. Um, I want to say about apathy, I think apathy is a rational response to a system that doesn't empower people. People don't engage with our system because they don't get what they need from it. People aren't fed up with British democracy, we don't really have one in my opinion. Uh, they're fed up with British politics, they're fed up with the Punch and Judy show of Westminster, they're fed up with a system that promises them that it will listen. Always, always the promise. Same promise. Oh, we've listened this time. Things will change. We'll take your, uh, what you've said on board. What's actually happening there is they're yielding as little ground as they can each time when they are forced to by the mobilization of popular groups. Now, where I see Assemblies for Democracy fitting into this historical cycle and, and what I see the context for it is, is the emergence again of this, this popular movement. Now, that's not to say, like, you know, we're there, we're ready to start campaigning on a mass level. We're not, and the chances of failure are obviously very real. But what we need to start doing, I think, is coming together. And what we're finding, I think, is that we're coming together a lot more around common issues. Four very interesting sessions. I should have said three, because otherwise I'm arrogant. But I hope four very interesting sessions to attend today. And I don't think they're at odds with each other at all. My session will be focusing on representation and its limits. Um, we're focusing mainly on the political system, the Westminster system, not because it's the most important, but it is an important part of this complex issue we need to start unravelling. Um, I don't have a particular agenda to sell to anybody. What I'm interested in is what people think in the session we can do to start organising, mobilising for change. What kind of change do we want to put forth? What kind of flags we can place on hills? Thank you.